वेलकम बैक टू कैट कैम ट्यूटोरियल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्केच एस न्यूमेटिक सिलेंडर इन सॉलिड वर्क्स ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट वी विल स्केच एंड असम्बल सो लेट्स सी हाउ इट वर्क्स एंड हाउ टू स्केच ए सॉलिड सिलेंडर इन न्यूमेटिक सिलेंडर इन सॉलिड वर्क्स दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ न्यूमेटिक सिलेंडर फ्रंट प्लेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट चूज फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच Select circle and draw one circle, and same draw one center rectangle. Okay. Make dimension inches. We want to do in inches, so edit. Assign dimension. Three inch. Three inch. and the circle keep 6875 okay now select fillet keep 0.25 inch select all four corners select okay now again select one center rectangle select here for construction okay choose circle and draw circle in every corner Okay now assign diameter zero point two five one inch and distance from here to this line keep zero point three seven five okay this distance also same. now select this all four circles and make relation equal select here equal okay now this is our main front plate cover plate select extruded boss 0.5 inch make a extrude up to 0.5 inch select okay this is our front plate assign color material so right click and choose plain carbon or just off real view we will keep some dark carbon steel now save as part 1 front plate now we are going to make rear plate with the help of front plate so we will do one thing just do edit sketch in that select this circle and delete it that's it now select exit see this is our rear plate now save as rear plate now we will make our part number now third. we will sketch part number 3 tube so select front plane sketch select circle and draw two circles from origin point now assign diameter 1.75 inch and the keep distance 
पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव इंच जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव इंच दैट्स इट नाउ सेलेक्ट एक्सट्रूडेड बॉस एंड कीप अप टू एट इंच now we will assign some color uh, let's assign some dark color yellow okay now save as tube now we will sketch piston for pneumatic cylinder so select front plane sketch select circle and draw one circle keep inches one point six two four inch select extrude boss extrude up to 0.5 inch okay now select this face sketch draw one circle in center keep diameter 0.6875 okay now select extruded boss and select up to 8 inch we want to extend up to 8 inch okay now select this face sketch select normal make one circle here from center point Point two five inch. Select extruded boss. Keep up to one inch. Okay. Now assign the color. Okay. Save as piston. We will make cylinder rod. So let's start. Select front plane, sketch, draw a circle here. keep diameter 0.251 mm or 0.25 inch okay select extruded boss choose mid plane and extrude up to 8 inch okay edit this feature select diameter 1 uh, this diameter we will make little more point 4 inch exit now this rod now select one end sketch draw one small circle here keep diameter 0.25 inch select extruded boss up to 1 inch 
up to one inch okay now select mirror and choose front plane so it's going to mirror in the next end okay now this is mirrored select select the whole part and assign some color Uh, let's assign this color or we will assign blue color okay now save it cylinder rod okay now we will start assembly of pneumatic cylinder now we are going so to let's start pneumatic cylinder assembly. Let's see how to assemble a pneumatic cylinder. Select new assembly. Okay. Browse the parts. Select this all parts. Open. Change the plane. Select this part, go to open part and change the color. Make the color as same as before. Ok. Now exit. Select save. This part also change the color. Open. Ok. Now select save rear plate. Now this all saved. Now just uh, do one thing. Just press control and select this part and copy. We need four number of parts. So let's start. Select float. Select this part, mat, choose this circle, ok. Select this end, select this end, ok. Now select this rod and this OK. Select this back side and back side surface OK. Select this one rod, this hole OK. This back side and this side OK. Okay. Okay. Now bring this circle. Select this hole. Select this hole. Okay. Now select this hole and this hole. Okay. Select this face and this face select ok now see our cylinders main body is ready now select this cylinder and select this hole ok select this surface and back side of this ok now our cylinders everything is almost fixed now only cylinder balance so select this cylinder and select this cylinder make co-centric ok
No, sí. Right click on this. Cancel. Right click on this. Select fixed. Now it is not moving. choose transparency now see cylinder moving inside now we will fix nut in all the sides so let's see just go to library toolbox here are the we, we need inch nut so select inch select nut and here select hexagon nut and we will try this hexagon nut just drag and drop here now it is we will select the size uh, this is our actual size 1 by 4 into 8 select ok now just drag and post ok just bring to near the board it will fix no need to make the relation in every places okay okay select cancel now delete this bolt now see Our piston pneumatic piston is ready pneumatic cylinder I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Sub subscribe our channel for more projects in SolidWorks don't forget to share and like these videos thanks for watching